This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. I'm back inside of Character Animator working off of 10 Chad Character Animator. We now want to add some dragger handles to this rig. And dragger handles are essentially how they sound. You can place hot points on the rig that can be dragged using your mouse. So you could use this to move arms or different body parts or props or whatever you want. First, make sure you're on the rig tab. And I want to come over and let's start by clicking on the Chad layer because that's where we assigned our pins, you'll remember. Now I want to come down and click on the dragger tool. And let's say we want to drag the arms so we can control them. I can add a dragger point to the back arm and then the front arm. Once we do that, we can come over here to record. And now the scene has popped back in. Let me just reset my pose really quick. There we go. And as you can see now, if I were to come in and start just moving this around, it's not going to really look all that good. <laughs> you can see that it's pulling and it's dragging, but it's doing some weird stuff. And it's not quite working the way we want because that's not how arms should bend. And it's simply how we have everything set up within the rig. So let's go back here and take a look at what we can do to correct this. So first, let's come down here and I'm going to click on these draggable handles and remove them from the main Chad layer. I'm going to place these on their own individual layers. So let's go down here to body and where we have front arm, I'm simply going to click on that layer and then click on the hand to insert a dragger. Then we'll come over here to the back arm and do the same thing. Now let's go to record and we'll see how this looks. I'm going to turn off my camera here for a moment and my audio just so hopefully it plays a little bit quicker. My computer's experiencing some slowdown. And now if I click and drag, you're going to see it doesn't really do anything different. So even when we go in and isolate those things, it's still not quite right. So what can we do? Well, this is where independent layers come in play. An independent layer basically isolates that layer from the entire rig. So that way, you're not influencing the body when you move the arm. Let me come over here and turn on the crown for back arm as well as front arm because that's going to create independence now. Come back here and hit record and we can see what this looks like. So now if I click and drag, you can see it's doing something different but it's still not quite working the way we want. Maybe there's a little bit there, but it's simply not enough. So now if we come back here to rig, what else could we do to help this? Well, when it comes to rotating objects, in this case, an arm, it's best to establish the pivot point from where you want it to rotate. As you can see, when I have back arm selected, because this is tagged, you'll see we have this origin point right here. And this allows us to place the origin and have it hinge from a certain point. If I click and drag on it, I can bring it up and we're going to get a colored interface with our character. You can see when I am on the arm, it's yellow, but when I pass over the body or anything else, it turns green. What this means is if we bring it up here to the shoulder, and it's green, we're going to attach this independent layer to the body at the shoulder. So once I release, we have now stapled this independent arm to the shoulder. Now let me come back here and record again. Let's take a moment here to repair the scene. And then if I click and drag, you can see it's starting to act a little bit better now. It's still not 100% perfect, but we're getting closer to where we want it. So what's still wrong? Well, 
Let's come back here and click on the back arm. You'll see on the layer properties, we have attached to, and it says auto, and that's because it's automatically attaching to the body. It's independent, but the attach style is currently set to weld. Let's go ahead and change that to hinge. Now, if we come back and hit record, and click and drag, you can see it's acting much more naturally. Now it's still not perfect. It's not really bending the way we want, but it's getting closer. So let me come back here and repeat that process for the other arm. I'll just click on front arm and I want to grab that origin point and bring it up and attach it to the shoulder, just like that. And making sure we're still in that front arm layer, come over here to the properties and change it to hinge. Now go to record. And once it prepares, we can test this out again. Once again, this arm's doing that. And this arm is doing this now. Again, it's a little bit more natural, but it's still not quite right. But we're getting there. So what we're going to do is pause the video and up next, we'll keep refining these bends by rotating limbs and adding in sticks. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.